Hey guys, this is Hawk. Welcome to the channel and to the Long Dark. If you recall, in the last episode, we made our way back from the Hunter's Lodge where we had obtained the spear that's meant to kill the legendary bear. Uh, we fixed it up at the forge and the bear stalked us to the edge of the forlorn muskeg. Um, but we did manage to make it here safely to the trapper's cabin, which is where we're going to pick up today. So on to the action. All right, guys, you can see that we are back here. Um, we made it back to the trapper's cabin. And one thing I wanted to make sure to note, I did realize after I had left the railroad car and was kind of partway back to the map exit, it was about halfway between the railroad car and the map exit, that I left the bedroll behind. And since I left my bedroll behind in the Hunter's Lodge, um, I now no longer have one. I think there might have been one possibly in the camp office, I'm hoping. But regardless, I wouldn't have been able to carry it anyway without dropping some stuff. But anyway, let's hop in here, which will probably start a cutscene, which is why I wanted to finish what I was saying outside. Did you find it? The legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Yeah. The bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I'm dead. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music, talking. I think it needs more range, more powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, we might be able to get a message out. Well, let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! Now, this survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that'd serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those, and I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Hmm. Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But there's definitely a Bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it! You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Hmm. Cryptic. Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way, and I'd really kind of like to find her back. <laughs> Don't forget about the wolves. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Chapter 3, Signal to Noise. Retrieve transponder parts from each tower in Forlorn Mu- 
We just came from Forlorn Muskeg. What did I leave here last time? I'm sure I can't take it with me, but... Yes, I can take that with me. I think I still have a hatchet. Well, I left a hatchet because I think I've got another hatchet. It's very dark in here. Where's the door? Oh, there we go. Uh, leave cabin. Unfortunately, we can't stay at his cabin because there is not another bed. So there is nowhere for me to sleep, which means I must go, since I don't have my bedroll, I must go back. As far as I'm aware, you can't sleep anywhere where you don't have a bedroll. Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see, there is a wolf. And we are in the Mystery Lake region. So we are going to try to dispatch of it to complete that side quest. Plus, he's also in the path of where I need to go to get back to the cabin. There are two of them. I wonder how f if this has bullet drop. running away. That was a pretty short distance for there to be bullet drop. There you go. Come on. Oh, there you are. Preserve nature's balance in nearby areas. That is, in fact, what a cull is. I didn't actually explain that earlier. It's a, it's an organized, um, basically where they organize uh, like a mass, like slaughter of animals to try to reduce the population. This is obviously not really organized. This is just, you know, Mackenzie's pers personal mission, but. I would say home sweet home, but this is really not home. Okay. So was there a bedroll here? Or do I have to keep a lookout for one when I'm going? Yeah, there is one. Perfect. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to start a fire. Oh, shoot. That's right. This water was... That water was... Uh, I left that on the stove the last time because of the fact that... Um, let's... Alright, what do we want to do here? 
This is burning right now for another hour. It's dark outside. Um, lake gunshots. Forest talker supply caches. Okay. Maybe we'll wait until it's like daylight out and then we'll go down and look at those gunshots. I'm not sure. I don't remember when I got that mission. Let's grab... Piece of coal. That put another hour on. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a cup of tea. Just going to take a few minutes here to sort out some inventory. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that I actually grabbed some old man's beard off some trees that I saw when I was on my way back so I could replace my, um, the bandage. No idea what time it is, so we're going to go ahead and sleep for about five hours, because I shouldn't need a whole lot of sleep anyway. And hopefully it's light out. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and sort out some of the rest of our inventory here. Nothing else fits. Alright, that's fine. We'll take some of this along. Does any of this go in here? There we go. I'll take the rest of it along. Uh, any medical things that I'd like to drop off here? And what else goes in here? Clothing, I believe. I brought these socks along back just in case anything would happen that mine would get damaged um, because they're the nicer, the decent climbing socks, which should mean that I should be able to take those apart. And then this, of course... Oh, I put the leather and the cloth over in the other thing. Um... Oh, does this stuff go in here? I've already forgotten. It's been, a, you know, a couple of days since we've actually been back at home. Uh, let's put... You know what? Fishing tackle. Let's get rid of... A bunch of these. This has a shell in it, and I've got four more on me. I could use the rest of this firearm. Um, probably should be able to use the rest of it, but let's go ahead and put it in here. And then... What am I carrying that weighs so much? I don't know if I should be carrying this flashlight on me. Presumably we will need a hatchet to break through the ice. Yeah, somehow, I, I guess it's probably just the clothing I'm wearing that just weighs a ton. Like I said, those, those gloves, they weigh quite a bit. Okay. I've got two of those lines. I don't know. Do I need to take more than that? Because it looked like there was a specific weight that you're supposed to catch for the fish. It said like zero out of five kilograms. So I don't want to go down there and find out that I don't have enough of the...
I think I need to... Oh, no, I don't. I was going to say, I thought I need to make these on the workbench, but it doesn't look like I do. I'll just take the other stuff with, with me, and I guess I can make it then while I'm there if I need to. Here's our good morning energy bar. Here's our good morning water. All right, and we are off. Yeah, zero out of five kilograms. Catch a fish at a fish. You know what? Do I have to make fires in those places? They have little potbelly stoves in them. I mean, I've got... I guess I'm not going to be going for that long. So probably the stuff that I've got on me should be fine, I would imagine. Oof. And it's a crappy day out again. It'd be nice if just for once when I was, you know, working my way towards these ice fishing huts that I could actually see across the lake. Because I'm still confused about how I have a key for a cabin that I didn't use. Where are the fishing huts? Okay, I'm not going the direction I thought I was. more of this. Okay, here's one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not cold at the moment, so... I assume it would make a whole lot more sense to use the hatchet, right? Oh, I don't know if you saw that or not, but it showed on my, um, at the top right underneath the, the wind, the, that little icon that indicates that I'm protected from the wind. It showed like a smell meter. Did that clear that? 2.23 out of 5 kilograms. Apparently I do need to fish more. How close are we? Oh, one more fish. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, you can see it now. There's three little icons at the top, but there's two of them that are filled in. How are we doing? We're not too bad on weight here. But since I am... Hey, it's cleared up a bit. I can see now. There's some deer down there. Oh, there's the... Uh... Just curious, though, because I swore I saw a cabin over here. 
There is something over here. Let's maybe make our way to the middle. I think those are the cabins down there that we already checked in. Like I said, the fact that I don't have... I've got keys that don't open doors yet. Oh! There's three more cabins and a wolf. Who probably noticed me because I'm smelly. Leave me alone. You know what? Since I'm already smelly, we're going to take all your meats. Okay, maybe not all of them. How long does this take? 16 minutes? That's going to take a long time. Let's go ahead and do it, I guess. It's probably a bad idea because... drop some gear. Yeah, that's why. Now I'm very smelly. Oh, sure, this one has a door on it. Why didn't I come to this one? Okay, I'm going to go back and dump a bunch of stuff. All right, guys, we are back at the camp office, as you can see, and I had an idea while I was coming up here. Um, I looked at the quality of the fish and this wolf meat, and it looks like it's already deteriorating. And as we kind of saw um, up at the, the Hunter's Lodge when I picked up that rabbit meat that said it was ruined... I'm assuming this stuff should be, like, refrigerated, but being as there are no refrigerators in this game, I think I'm just going to chuck it here on the porch. I mean, it says it's raw. We'll check it in a minute. I guess I'm figuring I've got so much food and stuff already, so, I mean, if a wolf would come up onto the porch and eat it, I guess it's not the end of the world. Um... All right, let's go ahead and dump some stuff off here. You know what, let's put all of this in here. Let's get rid of some of this equipment that I was carrying, like the hatchet, all of these. The fish hooks, the lines. Um, here, the sewing kit can stay. You know what? For the sake of the... I can't put anything else in there. For the sake of trying to just make sure I have enough of space to loot the cabins. Still says they're raw. It's fine. Alright, back across the lake. Alright guys, decided to check into this cabin. Just to see if there was anything of interest. here.
Oh. Okay, guys. So this one you can see says it requires a uh, cabin one key. So this is cabin one. Okay. Well. Let's head down to this other set of cabin three cabins that I just saw. That is obviously not the same three cabins that we previously ransacked. There we go. We have the key for this one. Uh, there's a bunch of books. I guess I can take them for now. These will be probably the first thing to go if I get over encumbered, however. Be good, I think. Ooh, painkillers. Off season fun. We're not supposed to go there off season, but there's an amazing hunting there's amazing hunting to be had near Mystery Lake. The warden usually shut down shuts down the park for the winter. The cabins are meant for summer use, so bring warm clothes and a heavy sleeping bag. Um, we'll break in. Bag a few stags, then truck the meat out of there in a couple of weeks. Stan will pick us up along the old coastal highway. Meet me at the lake cabins on November XX. Come alone, bring beer. There's been logging in the area, so stay out of sight. Do I do anything with that? Is it going to give me another quest? Combat boots. Boots designed for war zones. Too bad they weren't made for winter. Heavy-duty leather with good ankle support would offer fair resistance to animal bites. Oh yeah, they're quite a bit... You lose a quite a bit of warmth with them. Is it food or... Oh, hey. We just found a second... Um second ear wrap, which is in terrible condition. Combat pants. Oh, like I said, a bunch of these books are going to go now. I need to drop something. Because there are, in fact, books back at the... As a matter of fact, let's... I would like to take the firewood along because we don't have a whole lot of firewood. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop... Yeah, I guess I'm going to drop all of them. Okay. It's everything in here. It's everything in here. This game gives you too much stuff. I'm not taking the books, I'm taking the stack papers. I don't know why I'm taking the scrap metal anymore, to be honest, just because we'll read that in a second, but um the I think I'm gonna guess that probably its primary its primary use is at the forge. I think you can actually use it to repair. I think if you need to repair your... Mine's at 100%, so I can't see, but I think you actually use that to repair your lantern, but that would be the only thing that I could think of. Um, okay, let's read this note. This small note looks to have been left for someone in particular. Hard to imagine, as the area is quite sparse. A. I'm heading to the clear cut. Put some supplies aside for us, away from prying eyes. If you need something, look for the old stump between two log piles. K. 
That's gotta be a cache. Oh gosh. So this is how I came in before. Um, when I went to the destroyed lookout, we came down this way. That was one heck of a hike. Now it makes me wish I would have done those in reverse. Okay. Every fish you cook produces oil you can use in lanterns. That little tooltip just popped up. I did not know that. Guessing you can't go in this at all. Okay. Okay, so we would be off to the other set of cabins. And I don't know which of these fishing huts I've been in and which I haven't. And to be honest, they don't really have a ton of stuff that's overly helpful. Let's have some beef jerky. Is that a dead wolf? No birds, but I mean the deer wouldn't have killed a that's not a wolf. That is a person. Shit. Looks like someone found trouble. Follow the trail of blood. Just leave me alone. I'm not opening a store for anyone. It's okay. I I'm not here to take anything from you. Are you with the forest talkers? I am. And I'm not letting you in. They killed my friend. How do I know you aren't one of them? You don't, but I'm not. Name's Mackenzie. And I'm way too stubborn to just leave you out here all by yourself. You'll have to trust me. Seems like I don't have much of a choice. We left most of our supplies at the old logging camp while we fished here. Can you get them for me? I can try. There's more. In that abandoned dam, we found evidence that proves there shouldn't be logging in Mystery Lake. I need that evidence. Documents nobody wanted to be found. We hid them until we could retrieve them. Under a floor tile at the bottom of the stairwell. If you can help me get the documents back, well, it'd be a huge win for the environment. If you care about, you know, living in the world. I have a feeling the world has bigger problems right now, but I'll see what I can do. Here's the key to the trailer where we stashed our supplies. I'll slide it under the door. The key for the trailer where they stashed their supplies. Now I know why I couldn't get into that trailer. Your name isn't Hank, is it? My gosh, so he's sending us back to the dam and back to the foresting area, which actually is convenient because then I can grab the supply caches. Okay, so this is going to be longer than I expected.
right, guys, we are back at the cabin. I did just check the meats that were laying outside. They are not considered frozen at the moment, so... Um, but what I need to do here is I need to drop off a bunch of stuff. And this is unfortunately not the food container, but I picked up a bunch of food again, and I need to make sure that I've got space. Um... Honestly, not even sure what all I want to take along with me. All I know is I need to get rid of a bunch of stuff to be able to have inventory space. God, I picked up some extra clothes, which are not going to fit in here. I can see now this is 14.73 out of 15 kilograms. So I guess there's going to be some clothing going in here as well. Just kidding. Every one of the containers is full. We're going to drop them on the floor. These are already better. Let's go ahead and repair these. Before we go anywhere, we're going to have to sleep. Um, so these combat pants. Are interestingly, they're less protection than the work pants. So I'll probably keep the work pants as the outer layer. But then I will be wearing the combat pants on my inner layer. Oh, this is the outer layer. I had them backwards the entire time. This says it's the outer layer. Well, this also says it's the outer layer. And you can see that they changed into the combat pants. Okay, well, you know what? I don't know. All I know is I need to get rid of clothing that I picked up. So what else is? am I not wearing? I'm not wearing the pants I just took off. Or these. Or these. And I need to repair these other ear wraps. Which I don't have cloth for. Everything's in pretty good quality. Okay, the fur firewood actually weighs quite a bit more, and it's going to have to be dropped on the floor. Drop some paper on the floor. I still, I, I'm sure it's the clothing. Uh, like I said, I'm sure it is. There's just really no two ways about it. It's the clothing that's increasing. I used to be able to get down to um, somewhere between 15 and 20 kilograms. And now it seems like I can't get below 25. Under scrap metal, let's drop that on the floor. I want to take the pry bar along because if we're going back up to the dam, there was a couple lockers up there that I... A couple lockers that were... Um, that I needed a pry bar for. Okay, so let's... Uh, I'm going to say start a fire quickly. I would need a book. Make ourselves some tea. Turned out pretty well. Do I have an already made cup of tea, I think? Next 
15 minutes. And that'll be ready in eight. This won't get done, but... Alright. Oh, and I need to pick up the bedroll. Because I need a few more things to take with me. Oh, somehow I'm at only at 25 with the bedroll? Oh, for some reason I thought that was 5 kilograms. It's only 1. Okay. Alright. To sleep we go. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab another book here. And start another fire. We're going to go ahead. I, I just have so much of this accelerant, and I can't carry it all all the time. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm going to need this, actually. I need to grab a piece of that fir firewood and put it in... Uh-oh. It's all in one place. Drop those cargo pants now that I had to pick up to be able to get to them. Okay. Hoping it's going to be light out enough for us to go ahead and move. That was actually probably too much time on that, unfortunately, because I can't leave now. Well, I guess once the snow's melted, I could put the, pot the non potable water. I could just drop it on the floor or something. Because I would like to get moving here. Let's grab uh, a couple other things to eat. I guess that'll be fine. Take another soda. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this on the floor. Oh, past time until ready. Oh, well heck. Okay. Alright, let's use the lantern to at least get out of the cabin. Hopefully I don't get sick from that. I just realized that even after you, um, even after you cook that, it's still very not something that it has a great condition to it. Okay. Oh goodness, it is very dark still. Okay, well, we're gonna. We're going to do this anyway. And unfortunately with the fog, all this lantern is really serving to do is kind of reflect off of the fog, making it even harder to see than it already is. Is it actually easier to see? I don't know that it is. 
I probably should have grabbed some... Probably should have grabbed some additional ammunition. Alright guys, we are back. There are two wolves ahead of me. And I don't know if you can see them or not. I was trying to cut this part of the episode out so that, um... Uh-oh. Okay. I don't have any active effects. It says I've got a laceration. Okay. I'm not sure what that was about then. Um, what I was trying to say is I was trying to... Oh, and... Is, is it going to come back? Apparently still afraid of the noise. Um, I was trying to um, just cut out the episode because of how dark it is until we got to the train loading area, which we are actually at right now. Um... Yeah, so we just kind of need to make, uh, you can see here, we need to make a left around here and go down this pathway, which was pretty infested with wolves. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this out until something eventful happens again, um, just because, like I said, it's I can barely see, so I can imagine how this is going to be on YouTube. So catch up with you guys in a few. All right, guys, it's a little bit lighter now, and you can see that we've just made it to the foresting camp, or I think it's called a, a just, oh, it's a logging camp. There was a wolf chasing something, chased kind of across the road, so it's near me. Um, but hopefully we can duck into this cabin. We'll go ahead and pull out our lantern, because... Being that it's still pretty dark outside. Oh, look, there's another bedroll. I think I can use this. Okay. Probably have to repair my clothes after having been attacked by a wolf, but I don't think I brought a sewing kit along. All right, forest talker supplies. Okay, it doesn't weigh anything, apparently. It's zero kilograms. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I decided to take that because I noticed that my can opener is starting to degrade pretty good. And I don't know that I plan on going fishing again. Um, but I will take that along, because it doesn't weigh anything. This will come in handy. The warmest sweater around, inspired by the traditional sweater conceived by the... Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. First Nation on Vancouver Island, Canada. Treat it like an old friend. Will do. Could end up being useful. All right, nothing under there. Okay. And I should have everything I came for. Um, like I said, I don't think I've got a sewing kit along to... Oh, I do. I do have a sewing kit. All right, let's go ahead and leave. All right. Let's grab these supplies quickly. Hey guys, this is Hawk. As we make our way here to grab the Forest Talker supplies, we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like and comment, and also subscribe so that you get notified of future videos. But for now, my name is Hawk, and this has been The Long Dark, and I will catch you guys next time.